Hello guys, and welcome back to another episode of Dire Dreams with Xmas. Uh, so, finally, it's another day. I, I'm calm now. I have no more hate for the void as of now. Got some blocks with me. I think, I think this is gonna be the day, boys. The day that we get, uh, the lapis block from, uh, the Rockets of Doom, I think is what I'm gonna call them. Um, so, if you remember, we forgot coal. Okay, that's great. <laughs> I was so prepared, and then I forget coal. Alright, well, I'm just gonna go cook up some coal. Alright guys, uh, we have 32 torches now. We're just burning some in the furnace, so I'm just gonna grab the furnace. And, uh, might as well just leave it out there. So, the reason why I put those cookies in the ender chest is that we can uh, go grab them at our base if we ever want them for some strange reason, so that ender chest will be the same over there. Um, Alright, so my plan for this time was to make a passage that would be, uh, that would be safe, so that if a gas shot me, I could get away safely. So, so far, it's working out okay. Um, just putting a railing on this. Okay, doing okay so far. Okay, good railing. Still making it. Um, so we know that there's gonna be a. Oh, that was so close, so close. Okay, so let's hope that doesn't happen when we uh, grab the lapis. Okay, I think I think our pathway is secure enough. I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so I thought that before I went in and got all of my pathways destroyed, I would just uh, run over here and check what's in the chest. Okay, so he gave me some glass and some roses. Oh god, creeper? Why is there a creeper here? Okay, no creeper anymore. Um, what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to throw this glass in the ender chest. Um, not that. That, yeah, okay. Alright, and I think that I'm about ready to uh, rush out and grab that lapis block. Just a couple more things. Probably need a railing. Don't have enough blocks to give myself a railing here. But I'm, I'm not expecting to have a problem here. Okay. Okay, so there are a lot of endermen here. So we're just gonna... We're just gonna run in and run out. Um, uh, I, don't, I really just don't want to lose this block, so... That's where I'm coming from. Okay, grab it. There's a ghast. There's a ghast. There's a ghast. And ta-da! We have obtained a lapis block. So, basically if we die here, it doesn't really matter. Um, we have the lapis that we came for. And that's all that really that matters. Where are you, ghast? happened. Uh, 
That was horrifying. Oh my god. Just sh oh, my sound is way up there. Sorry guys. Um, it must have been pretty intense. It was pretty intense for me too. I did not mean to look at that Enderman. He sounds really pissed. I don't know where he is. Uh, where's the gas though? Oh, the gas is way away. God, God. Oh, yes. I'm so happy I got the lapis. <laughs> Alright, guys. So we have two lapis in here. One of them is from the castle on the top side, and one of them is from down here. So there is an ender chest. Around here wise, I think. So. What I'm gonna do is run away from the creeper who is and zombies that are down there. Okay, and I'm gonna continue on. I'm gonna bring this lapis to this ender chest. And make sure not to fall down into the void with this stuff. Cause that would suck. Okay, so we have three lapis. I'm gonna grab some cookies. And um we still have one more lapis that is uh, back in the nether. We have not gone back to get it yet. Although, that was one of my plans for this episode. I was gonna try and grab that uh, lapis and then go back and then grab the other one that we had earlier and put it in the ender chest. Because I, uh, I'm guessing that at the monument, um, which is where you uh, put all the lapis blocks, I'm guessing that at the monument, uh, there will be an ender chest so that I can bring everything over really quickly. Okay. Now, um, I'd say it's time to go back to, uh, the nether to, uh, grab that lapis block. It's been forever since I've been here. I had to eat, like, 20 cookies to get up these stairs because, uh, seriously, uh, I don't know. I had to jump like 500 times. Alright. Those stairs are, are good for your health. Except when you eat cookies, that's just like counterproductive. But, you know. That's how it is. It's been like forever since I've been here. And I already went the wrong way. Alright, so, we have, I remember falling off the staircase like 400 times. Good memories, bad memories, I, I don't really know. Um, all I know is that I had a hell of a time, and I spent at least like 4 hours of my life here, so. Might not have been my favorite 4 hours, but it was, it was good. Sounds like a blaze, because I never did disable those spawners. Okay. Actually, this is our old base. Here is uh, our first crafting table ever. Um, so yeah, here's here's a lapis block. And here's a magma, magma cream. I'm thinking of just bringing some uh, useful stuff to my base. Um, is there anything else I really need? Maybe a gas tier. I wouldn't need it back here, but, you know, I'll give myself, nah, I don't think I'll ever be coming back here, so, I don't need to worry, I'll just take some string, maybe some blocks, and some sand, uh, you run into that cactus, you, you do that, it's all good, I, I don't judge, so, this could be a very bad day, man, like, if a gas came, slaughtered me, and then blew up my items, then I guess I would have to say that. <laughs> I, I keep saying this, but really, guys, if I lose a lapis block, I can't play this game anymore without feeling like I cheated. So, I will I'll throw the towel down if, uh, if, if I drop this lapis block and I lose it. Game over. 
but as of now, I'm pretty confident that uh, I'm gonna beat this map. I don't actually know how many there are. I assume maybe there's 16 because that's the standard for most capture them, uh, complete the monument maps. <laughs> but uh, uh, you never know. There might only be like 10 of them. So if there's only 10 of them, then I'm almost there. I have four, I think now. So doing pretty good. Pretty good. It's a very slow start. Like uh, something like stupid, like five or six episodes just for the first one. But um, now we're picking up some speed. We're at about, uh, I assume this is the tenth episode now, and uh, we already have four, so it's pretty good. All right, and we're about to go back to the house, and we've already eaten like forty cookies, and I just dropped a string on the ground. See, this is the kind of stuff I was worried about happening. There were random zombies and creepers beside my house. I don't even know where all these guys spawn from. I'm going this way because on top of that mob trap seems to be a lot of guys, so I just don't really want to mess with them. I just want to get this lapis block back. I don't want to lose it. I don't want to fall in the void. Got to be really careful here. I haven't been clumsy enough to fall off in this dirt ring yet, I don't think. So, um... I think I'm doing pretty good for a guy who never does maps like these. Uh, I'm, not, I'm just not that kind of person. Oh, and there's a hole. Okay, we have four now. I'm just gonna grab some glass blocks. Okay, so, 400 cookies later, and two lapis blocks in one episode. I'd say we made some good progress, boys. We're trying to get away from this creeper here. This is stupid. <laughs> this is so stupid. Okay, goodbye. Thank you. Phew. Oh god, no, no, you blew up my mob trap. Get out of here. Oh no, this is, this is horrible. My mob trap was beautiful. Oh god, no. Get in there, okay. Oh god, he's trying to swim against the current. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna die here. <laughs> this would be so embarrassing to die here. But we're uh, recovering quickly. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Um. Oh god, that was so close. Okay, um, you guys never saw this mob trap, all it is is basically a dark room with a skeleton spawner in the middle of it, and uh, brings them to a corner where I can just slaughter them right there. It's pretty cool. And uh, the problem is that I never lit up the top of it, so like a bajillion things spawn whenever they want to. And uh, it's really been hindering my progress on the dirt ring, and it's really just not a good thing. So, yeah, that's basically. And because this is like the only water around, the freaking squid spawning it, spawn in it like a hell of a lot. So, if you ever notice me having black dye in my inventory, this is why. So, you can see the skeletons and the squids, they're all in there. Okay, moving on. <sighs> Going back to my base. My base still looks really ugly. I'm not, I'm not the kind of guy who uh, obsesses over what his base looks like. But, uh, yeah, 
Thank you guys for watching. Uh, this was episode 10. I hope this is episode 10. But this was episode 10 of uh, Dire Dreams of Xmas. Uh, please come uh, catch me on the next episode. Alright, see you later.